Okay, so first of all, the materials you'll be needing is a pair of safety glasses, water for quenching, some tape, some drain snake, which is used for unclogging any kind of drain. You can find this at any hardware store. A bench grinder, probably the most important thing. Some pick templates. I'll be putting the link for these up on the uh, description a little later. Um, a Dremel and an attachment for the sandpaper on the Dremel. And uh, that will take you to step two. Okay, for step two, you're going to want to cut the appropriate length out of the uh, drain snake for your pick. And you're going to want about a good 13, maybe 12, 13 more or less inches of the drain snake. Let's cut that with the Dremel. Make sure safety glasses are on. That's what it looks like. So from there, you're going to want to cut out your pig template. And uh, that will be step three. Okay, so for step three, you're going to want to cut the head of the pig template, just the head, and you'll end up with this, just the pig head. And fold back all the white you can, you can fold back, which, like, the, all the white paper you want to keep all the black so just fold it back until you can't fold it anymore okay until it looks something more or less like this something like that now from there you're gonna tape this onto a piece of metal. Okay, for so step four will be cutting that. Okay, step four is Cut all the excess metal around the pig head with the bench grinder. Make sure you have water for quenching and your glasses are on. Okay, so you just take that off now, and what you end up with is something like this. Just kind of the rough design of a rake snake, or a snake rake, excuse me. So uh, now, we'll go to step five. Okay, so step five would be with the Dremel, and that's uh, usually cutting out a little bit of detail. So Okay, 
So the pick should look something along the lines of this. See how this somewhat looks like a snake rake? I don't know if you can see this, but that's what it's going to be. Um, and so, uh, so now we're going to move back to the bench grinder to uh, make the neck of the pick. So, I was just, I'm just trying to get this tape off. Okay, it's on there pretty good. That's cool. Okay, there we go. So, back to the bench grinder. Alright, so now we're going to make the neck for it so it fits into the lock. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So this is what it should look like when it's done. See how it has a long neck here going down towards the pick? And, uh... So yeah, it's starting to look much more like a pick. So for um, step six, we'll be putting on the accessory to the Dremel for sanding it and buffing it out, make sure there's no sharp edges. Okay, so here we are at step six with the attachment in place. And uh, now we'll be uh, buffing out and sanding it, making sure that there's no loose pieces of metal on it, you know, something like that right there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, make sure it's smooth and it will not cut. Okay, so this is what it should look like when it's all done. All polished, no scratches, nothing. It should look really nice, see? Here's, a, here's the difference. Here's just the piece of metal, and here's the uh, actual piece that we made. So, that will take us to step seven, where we apply the heat shrink. Okay, so step seven is apply the heat shrink. The way that I usually do it is just, I use a lighter, and just slowly go across like that. So I'll start like, like this, and go across. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's all done and complete. Um, as you can see, the heat shrink is applied nice and firmly. And um, and that's what the head looks like. Um, so yeah, now uh, step eight would be showing you that it works by giving it a test on a master lock number one. So. Okay, so for... Uh, this is the pick that we just made. This is a snake. And uh, here's just a match lock number one. It's locked. And uh, I will be picking it. There we go. Open. Alright. Subscribe. Peace.